going on YouTube, GSNoid here. So in today's video we're discussing about Kaobanga which has been updated. For those of you unaware, Kaobanga is a tweaking application for iOS 15.0 up to 16.1.2 on all devices, including the newer ones. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock and even unlock screen time passcode if you forgot it. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So yesterday an update was released for Kaobanga which is an application for tweaking purposes. This application basically allows you to just tweak your device, your iOS 16 or 15 device. Yeah, it even supports iOS 14.0 to 14.8.1, but some changes are permanent there and it has a huge list of tweaks that you can apply, like hiding the dock, hiding the home bar, having themes on the home screen, like proper themes, no web clips. You can customize the font of your device, the status bar, the lock screen, the passcode. It's actually quite a nice application to have. And this one uses the McDirtyCow exploit in order to do all these things. So yesterday an update was released, the version 8.1.2. As you can see here it says cross compatibility between files which are pro and Kawabanga custom operations importing the FSP files. This is important because files which are pro is another one of these Mac Dirty Cow tools and this one allows you to also customize the home screen by arranging only favorite tweaks, freely change the colors of the control center, notifications, dock, folders, change carrier name and now those changes, those modifications you do with files which are pro can be imported in Kawabanga as custom operations which is definitely nice. Then there is this, safety implementations to importing custom operations. Imported operations are now disabled by default and added warning for an imported operation that edits var. And fixed resetting icon cache stack on scheduling. This is important when you're basically loading a theme. If you're installing a theme with Kaobanga and your device gets stuck here on scheduling, now this was fixed. I would definitely advise you to go ahead and update. If you want to learn more about Kaobanga, I do have an article here on my website. It's this one in here, download Kaobanga IPA, a jailbreak alternative for iOS 15.0 up to 16.1.2. And you can learn more about what it can do, how it looks like and stuff like that. So definitely check it out in the link below. Once you get the IPA file from here, you can sideload it with sideloadly and stuff like that and it's pretty easy. I would definitely advise you to update your Kaobanga, especially if you have that glitch where it gets stuck on rebuilding the cache. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, update your Kaobanga, and peace out.